hi everyone okay let's um provide a solution to this equation 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x equals 30 okay um what do we do here we can pick the basis right i mean um the basis are the same so if we pick one of them then we add the powers okay um this is x plus x and then we have 30 on the other side now 3 to the power of 2x will be equal to 30 okay by the way there's another way you can you know you can deal with that right another way you deal with it let me do it over here if you have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x okay like this we have the same base and the same power so you can multiply the base and then pick one of the powers so this is 3 times 3 both of them to the power of x so at the end of the day this is 3 squared 3 times 3 is 3 squared then we have x on the outside and then you open the bracket by multiplying the two powers. So we have 3 to the power of 2x. Okay, so that is what we have. And um, see it's over here. Although we used another method. Now from here, we will take the log of both sides. So we're going to have log of 3 to the power of 2x equals log of 30 now the next thing is to bring the power behind so we're going to have 2x that is the power then we have log 3 and it's equal to log 30 okay so our 2x log 3 is equal to log 3 multiply by 10 because 3 times 10 will give us 30 now 2x log 3 is equal to from here we can apply one of the laws of um, logarithm and we'll get log 3 plus log 10 this is to say that log 3 plus log 10 is the same as log 30 now let's remove this from here so we divide by log 3 so that 2x will be alone we we'll divide this by log 3 as well then divide this by log 3 this will take this away from there and now we have 2x to be equal to log 3 divided by log 3 is 1 plus log 10 divided by log 3 okay hope you know that log 10 is the same as 1 but i don't want to go that way let's um change the base here so we have x to be equal to we have one um this is 2x by the way we have 1 plus log 10 to the base of 3 and again from here we are going to divide both sides by 2. Let's combine this. Now we are going to divide this by 2 so that x will be alone from here. This means that x is now equal to 1 over 2 of 1 plus log 10 to the base of 3. Okay, because if you multiply any number by 1 over 2, it means that you are dividing the number by half. Now let's open these brackets so that x will now be 1 over 2 times 1 is 1 over 2 then plus this multiplied by this we're going to have 1 over 2 log um, 10 to the base of 3 right so this is what we have as the value of x but imagine if we are to verify by the way let's verify this to make sure that we are correct okay straight to verification stage verification stage 
okay the equation um before then the value of x now is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 10 to base 3 right now the equation is 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x equals some um, 30. so let me put i'm going to work with this value you know 3 to the power of x so whatever i have i'll multiply it by itself so um this is going to be 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 10 to base 3 okay so i'll deal with only this then i'll double whatever i have this is 3 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 over 2 log 10 to base 3 using one of the laws of indices if we pick the base i mean one of the bases then we are going to add the powers that will give us this okay it will give us the power here now let's work on this this 3 to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of 3 then multiply by from here these two here 1 over 2 here is the power to the 10 so this will give us 3 to the power of log 10 to the power of 1 over 2 but this is still to base 3 okay i believe someone is learning from here now we have square root of 3 multiplied by 3 again to the power of log 10 to the power of 1 over 2 is the same as square root of 10 mind you this is to base 3 now remember this law that if you have a to the power of log okay, let me do it write it better if you have a to the power of log log c to base a now this and this can nullify each other so this will be equal to c so i'm going to do the same thing here this and this are going to take each other out so we have square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 10 like I told you, I am to multiply this by itself because this one is for 3 to the power of x alone. So we have another 3 to the power of x. So we're going to have this in two places. Multiply by square root of 10. Now at the end of the day, will this give us 30? Let's work it. So we have um, this can multiply this. So we have square root of 30 by the way. And then this will multiply this times this again we have square root of another 30 and then square root of 30 times square root of 30 will give us some um, square root of 900 and square root of 900 is 30 so this means that we are very correct to say that um x is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 10 to the base of 3 Thank you for watching.